Bahri Altekin, one of the more, considered one of the more important senior figures of the art scene in Istanbul. Very active, particularly in the 90s and the early 2000s up until his, his death. Um, but really very much um, that generation in, in Turkey that were firstly active internationally. He is really definitely one of the most significant artists of his generation who's underappreciated. So we wanted to do a, a, a really a retrospective of his work that would bring much more visibility to his practice. Particularly as one of the first people to look at questions of uh, globalization, uh, you know, the movement of people and objects that was happening at that time. Really, somebody who's observing this in the everyday and trying to, in his own artistic way, figure out really what, what that meant. The title somehow seemed to really summarize uh, a fundamental uh, characteristic of his work. Um, you know, these, these two words, democratic and luxury do not necessarily uh, work in a compat compatible way because, of course, luxury is not necessarily meant to be democratic. Um, but I think it was his way of talking about um, capitalism, particularly to, to look at this sort of strange balance between what he described as the vulgar and the beauty and the, and the relationship between these two things. And I think this is something that's very much characteristic in his work, in his work, particularly with things like the uh, hotel sign sculptures. Uh, he was a man uh, full of uh, obsessions. This work actually became a kind of an icon, like you, uh, you know, like photographing the, the signs with the name of the cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, after after that. Uh, it developed into the actual hotel signs with the city names, um, which I think it's a, it's a very interesting development, you know, like physically. They offer the promise of the experience of a, of a faraway uh, exotic place, but in reality, what you would have got in one of these hotels is uh, really like the most basic cheap hotel that you could imagine. The Turk truck was made uh, in 95, so exactly 20 years ago for the Istanbul Biennial. It's a collaboration between Altekin and Michael Morris. All of their work started with some sort of road trip. That's what, that's what Michael was explaining to me, and this work was very sort of typical of that, where they, you know, they go on a journey with something from one part of Turkey and end up eventually where they, where they want to be. And they deliberately overpiled it with, with these balls to, to make the whole thing look slightly absurd and even a bit like a toy, actually. It's a very playful work. He was already like playing with the words, like uh, you know, like there are those sentences that the, the truck uh, drivers they put on the back of the of the truck, uh, kind of uh, protection. And one of that in Turkish is uh, "Life ends, road uh, never." 